Hello students, one of the subject what you are studying in second semester is environmental studies and you have six chapters in this of which the second chapter is ecosystem. In ecosystem of the various topics what you have studied ecological suction is also one among them. What is ecological succession? It speaks about the succession of a species in a particular area. It tells us how a species is going and establishing itself in a particular area that we call them as ecological succession. How this happens? Before we speak about how it happens, we will try to see how many types of ecological successions are there. Basically, you have two types of ecological succession. What is the two types of ecological su succession? We call it as primary succession and secondary succession. What is primary succession? It speaks about creating life in an area where nothing existed before. That we call it as primary succession. Secondary succession, this is re-establishment or re-stabilization of the species on a area which is now disturbed. Meaning to say, at one point, at one stage, you had a group of living organisms there, but those organisms would have been disturbed because of a natural disaster. After that natural disaster, once again, re-establishment of other group of organisms in this area, we call them as secondary succession. Irrespective of whether it is primary succession or secondary succession, you see that succession takes place in five different steps. What are the five different steps? Nudation, invasion, competition, co-action, fourth one being reaction, and the last one is stabilization. What do you understand by nudation? I have a completely barren land where nothing exists. That we call it as nudation. Might be on this particular place or area, there might be rocks. So a place where there is nothing except for rocks, or the air that we call it as like, you know, nudation. Now on this particular place, there are chances that the organisms will come and settle. The organisms will come and grow on this particular place. They can invade this particular place. So the second step of your ecological succession is invasion. After invasion, where you have a particular group of organism, for example, A exists. Now, seeing that A is existing in this area, a second group might come. For example, group B might come. So you have A group and B group on this area now, and that is actually called as invasion. Now, when you have two different group of organisms in a particular area, I have A and I have B. Now, there exists a competition between A and B. There exists a co-action between A and B, meaning to say, for a limited supply of the nutrients present in that particular area, there arises a fight. There arises a competition between A and B. Now, in this competition, which one survives, whether A survives or B survives, is what is called as a reaction. After reaction, whether A survives or B survives, the one who finally makes their establishment, the one who actually overtakes the other group of organisms, they are stable and thereby they form the final step where we call them a stabilization or we call them as climax community. So if I say during the competition A and B is there and as a part of reaction A is surviving, and B is getting destroyed. So your final community, the climax community here is the group. Which one students? It is the group A. Now, after this, we are going to get to know an example as to how the ecological succession takes place. Now, as I told you, whenever you have something which is very empty, a area, where there is no community, there was no community existing. From that, if you see that there is a organism which gets grown, 
that we call it as primary succession initially nothing is there but over the time you have the group of organisms being like you know shown up in that particular area that we call it as primary succession now just check this picture you see that it is a barren land where there might be like you know there might be rocks now a place where there is nothing only rocks are left over in this particular place you have a group of organisms which initially grows and that group of organisms we call them as lichens so see in this particular picture i have a bare rock on this rock the first group of organisms which come are called as lichens now this lichens are able to survive even though there is no soil the lichens can grow on rock this lichens as they grow on rock they break down the rock into sand so whenever i get sand i get the nutrients so what happens i had what i had which one i had first a bare rock after bare rock i have lichens now this lichens has now resulted in the formation of what sand now just check this picture you see the rock on the rock you see colored masses this colored masses are nothing but your lichens okay so we call the lichens here as pioneer species can you see the colored one colored growth on the rock yellow color brown color black color this we call them as lichens now this lichens which are there on the rock as i told you they break the rock into sand and during the process some lichens also die as the lichens die they get decomposed as they decompose that converting what complex substances into simpler substances or the simpler substances might be nitrogen carbon hydrogen and oxygen where all of this enter as nutrients into the sand and they become what they become soil so you see this is the picture where on the rock the lichens have grown so now see bare rock we finished then we finished with lichens the next thing is that as lichens are doing their work there are the second group of organisms which now grow they are bit larger in size they are once again the plant community where we call them as mosses what do we call them as mosses so mosses grow after the mosses grow then what happens is that this mosses they will try to bring about the growth of the other group of organisms plant organisms where we call them as herbs and weeds so we started from a bare rock on the bare rock lichens are growing after lichens are growing mosses are growing after mosses who are growing herbs and weeds are growing now you see that the complexity of the organisms are increasing as we see that the nutrients are getting more enriched they are what they are getting enriched so once the herbs and weeds are being formed the herbs and weeds they have seeds in them where the seeds can be carried away by the wind they are carried away by the animals as they get carried away now they can bring about you know the formation of another important group of organisms where we call them as grasses okay so what happens herbs and weeds are there after this herbs and weeds we see that the shrubs are grown now the shrubs are growing because the soil has now thickened and this thickened soil is supporting the growth of grasses along with the grasses you can see the plants which can give you what the flowers also so when i see the process the process goes like this bare rock lichens mosses herbs and weeds then i have the grasses from the grasses shrubs are grown now what do you understand herbs are small plants shrubs are bit longer than your herbs so as you see that the nutrients are enriched the complexity of the organisms are also like you know they are more now after shrubs are grown it so happens in that particular like you know place you have the trees also growing what is growing trees are also growing now this trees they can survive why they can survive is because the nutrients are becoming more and more like you know enriched now when you have trees definitely you have insects coming and sitting on them you have small birds coming and sitting on them and then the mammals also try to move into that particular place 
So thereby, what this indicates is that from a place where there was nothing, I see that lichens grow, mosses grow, herbs weeds grow, grasses grow, shrubs grow, and now you have like large trees. When you have this large trees, in this large trees, you have other group of organisms coming and taking shelter. Who are they? The animals, they are the insects. So what happens, this is how like, you know, a succession takes place where in that succession, what is happening is that I am finding what lichens, microorganisms, plant comes from plants. I get different varieties. It might be a herbs, it might be a shrubs, then grasses comes. From this, then you see the trees are grown. Whenever you have the trees, then you see that the animals are grown. Whenever there are animals, you have the other group of mammals also moving in that particular place. So finally, now a community is established. There is the establishment of a community wherein in this particular community, I have plants, I have animals, and I have other members where in this particular region, a stable community as like established and thereby we call them as climax community. Now, it so happens, everything will be fine until a natural disaster takes place. By chance, if there is a natural disaster taking place, such as earthquake, volcano, forest fire, whatever is there in that particular place gets destroyed. So after like, you know, years, probably I can speak about, you know, hundreds of years, there might be chances in that same particular place, you have the other group of organisms entering. And that we call it as secondary succession. In the secondary succession also, we have the same five steps, which goes as nudation, invasion, competition or coaction, reaction being the fourth stage, the last one being the climax community. I hope you have understood this. Thank you, dear students.